Hey, Grand here. Uh, back with the late century Viking sword from Medieval Shop. Uh, and as you've seen in the other videos, I've talked about the cast blow. And Roland Morzeka believes this is what was done historically. The blade was thrown out. It could be done behind a, from behind a shield. It could be done in fencing. It could be done in all sorts of ways where you use the blade by throwing it out. And it's basically the centrifugal force that pulls it in the hand. And the pommel in the back and the older, later century, uh, later earlier century swords, like the migration layer swords and the Viking swords, would have a pommel where it was a T shape, pretty much. Or in this case, we've got a uh, Brazil nut pommel, but it catches uh, the hand, so you don't lose it from the hand. Actually, this grip's a bit too long. But with the tip cut, I've cut through metal. I've cut through a uh, uh, an actual uh, really hard plastic material and canvas in that way. It's the only cut that works. On something like this, you can obviously see that if I try to walk up here, swing and hit it this way, it would be futile. No one in their right mind would try to cut through the hood this way. What we're going to do is we're going to try the tip shot and see if I can actually cut into it, much like the axe did, with a sword cut. And this is about 19 gauge steel, which is about one millimeter. So I'll go ahead and test that out and see how it fares. That's from a tip shot, from a sword, hitting um, one millimeter steel. Now I know that most armor material was thicker than this, but as you can see, that tip of the sword can cut just as effectively as an axe, if accelerated properly. I'm quite impressed. Oh! And I left the blade in because I wanted to see the depth this time that we got. I remember that's a really tough material, tougher than Gamus in many ways. We got a good uh, couple of inches all the way in, which is about as deep as we got with a lot of the spear thrust from different types of spears, depending on what they were. Not bad whatsoever. And you can see those are all the way through, right there. Had to check it one more time. I was a little skeptical, but the 20 gauge steel that we used in the other video, it worked against, but I was thinking the car hood might be a little tougher than that, than about 19 gauge. But obviously it did exactly what I expected, just like it does through Gambison. And if anybody has an argument about trying to cut through the Gambison, just think about if I tried to do this and how silly this would be on the hood. <laughs> 